I'm Nels Jensen with the Business Press. We are at the 2010 Spirit of the Entrepreneur Awards, and we have just uh, learned that Bill Wilson of Wilson Creek Winery uh, and the Wilson family, the winner of the family category, for, yes. uh, entrepreneurial spirit. Yeah. Um, fantastic honor for your Huge. for your group, yeah. for your family, and, and for Huge. the company. Yeah, it's it's incredible. This is you know business itself is hard enough, and you, know, you throw a mixture of family involved and. Uh, you know, got so many chiefs, not enough Indians. Uh, but you know, so far as I forgot to say, we haven't killed each other yet. <laughs> I mean, you should have been well, at the last board meeting. It was a humdinger, right? Well, uh, I, you know, you guys have uh, been among the leaders out in uh, wine country. Thank you. Uh, you know, fantastic facility out there. Thank you. You know, you've got um, one of the the most active calendars in terms of entertainment. Sure. Absolutely. Um, so, you know, tell us really about how. Um, you know what it's like in terms of really the business side of it, because obviously wine is a passion, your family's sure. a passion. But if you can't run the business efficiently, it's not, it doesn't matter. Absolutely, you know it's it's unsustainable. I mean, you know, just take China for instance. You know, we can sell to China all day long at a dollar fifty a bottle, but it's not sustainable. Right. So you know you can venture into a business that's unsustainable, and this is a really stupid business to be in, because our inventory turnover is once every three to four years. Uh, especially with the red wine, uh, because we're making wine and spending money right now that we won't release for another three years. So from a business model standpoint, and all the Economics 101 and 102 teaches you don't get involved sure, in this I, wine could business. Be, you could be yeah. making 21-year-old scotch. Abs but, you know. Yeah, uh, which is even crazier. <laughs> so uh, from that standpoint, uh, as, as we say, we get paid in happy dollars because you know people are coming out there to have a good time unlike going to a, a used car dealership where you know it's almost animosity at the doorstep and you know a salesman is going to come out and try to sell you on something uh, here we're trying to find something that they like we're trying to enjoy uh, put something together that they enjoy and we kind of the poster children of our own probably you know, we've built that for us because that was our backyard uh, we lived on the property in Double Wide Mobiles, and we said, you know, why would we build a backyard? We've got this beautiful facility here, and if we like it, you know, we're John Q. Public. Sure. So why how do you, they like? how, you now? There, I don't know, thirty wineries. Thirty-five. Thirty-five wineries. wineries. Yeah. How do you differentiate yourself uh, in an environment well, like that? Well, that's where the family comes in. Uh, you know, a lot of wineries are owned by one or two individuals, and it's you know one down. We have eight of us. So when you come to the property, and that's my mom and dad's job is to give everybody that motherly and fatherly feel that only an 80-year-old mom and dad that are really mom and dads. They are mom and dad first. They are not the ultra business people. Us kids, we do all the heavy lifting. They take all the credit. We wouldn't want it any other way. And they just make, and we all just make people feel warm and welcome, and that differentiates us from anybody else out there because they're some at, at some point in time you're gonna see a Wilson on that property either that or we're in some meeting that's somewhere right. on the property that's right you know uh, we were just talking earlier you know we've we've had a, uh, uh, a running club winner we've had a rock climbing shoemaker we've had a toffee candy yeah maker that was a hard winery. act to follow right. so, uh, <laughs> you know lots of uh, lots of fun and games here at the uh, Inland Empire yeah. with the spirit of the entrepreneur well, fun and games still has to pay the bills absolutely that's the bottom yeah. line and this is a great event because there's just tremendous stories to tell people um, yeah. really living their passions and doing a good job and being able to celebrate their success. well just in meeting the finalists and going through the process uh, you've become friends with some people and you know people have found out that have come out here and wine club members and it's just a huge honor Honor to be amongst this caliber of people here and, and you know with you guys and everything else and all the support from the press enterprise and, and the Inland Empire magazine and, and all the business stuff it's just amazing and it's really cool I well, love it congratulations thank Bill you Wilson and the uh, thank you Wilson family of Wilson Creek winery yeah uh, for the business press I'm Nels Jensen